if you look into your garbage, you will find that the most place in your garbage is full of packaging. And I'm always asking myself, why does so many products need to be packaged? Like cucumbers wrapped in plastic, really? Hi, my name is Dominika and welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, I make videos about veganism, low waste and minimalism. In this video, I want to show how to reduce our eco footprint and share some alternative to traditional grocery stores. My absolutely favorite and I think probably the best place for zero waste grocery stores is farmer market. I am sure that at every farmer market you will find products that you need for your meal. The good thing is that the selection is always fresh, is local and seasonal. And the most of the food, probably all of the food is unpackaged and that's huge. So don't forget to bring your own bags, your cloth bags, and your own containers and you can also support local farmers and local farmer markets. Another alternative is uh, buying in the bulk and I know that even though we can find a lot of food at our supermarket but not all of them are package free and if you need products for your pantry like pasta, cereals, oils or grains, the bulk is the perfect option for you. There are a couple of uh, bulk stores in my area with the basic products that I need from food to cosmetic but also cleaning products and I will put you a link down in the description box um, where you can find bulk bin location in your own area. If you buy bread, meat or cheese on regular then you have to seek for a local butcher, specialty cheese shop or a bakery that can fit your needs. But if you want to be a really eco-friendly then you should stop eating meat and all the animal products because going vegan is the best eco-friendly and it's a lot better for the environment. So if you live in remote location and you don't have an access to buy in bulk, I also have tips for you and how you can reduce your food packaging waste. So basically you can make it yourself. If you can find products like peanut butter, broth or pesto, you can easily try to make it at home. There is also a returnable option, so try to keep your eye open. If there are some producers which are offering, for example, bottle return programs for return. Another tip is to buy products with recyclable packaging and things that you can reuse again. So always choose glass over plastic. Also a good thing is to buy in uh, large portions. Of course, if you live in a single household and you are afraid of spoiling, try to freeze it, pack in airtight containers. So guys, if you have any extra tips for me and how to go shopping without packaging, please share with me down in the comment if you want to know more on the topic make sure you read my blog also check me on instagram all the links are down in the description box and if you don't want to miss any other video make sure you subscribe and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like the video bye